All right, what's up, my friends? We are here the day after the Mythic Championship. <whistles> what a Mythic Championship was. If you didn't watch that finals, go watch it. Autumn played unbelievably well, especially in that game five. <whistles> yeah, crazy, crazy stuff, as I was saying in the intro. Watching it made me feel like a peon, like I'm some small child watching Magic played on a different level that I could possibly comprehend. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. But... The decks that did well in the top eight were not the only decks to do well at the Pro Tour. Um, sorry, Mythic Championship, Tower in the Jar, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, you know, there was Salt Eye and Mono White Aggro and Mono Blue Aggro and Esper Control. You know, the usual stuff. Maybe a, a, the LSV's uh, Is It Phoenix deck, a little interesting. But there were a handful of pretty interesting out there, off the beaten path decks that did very, very well. And um, if you check my Cool Stuff video, CoolStuffInc.com video, which comes out today on Monday, I played Raph Levy's 8-2 Merfolk deck. That's right. You went 8-2 at Merfolk at the Pro Tour. Mythic Championship. Tower in the Jar. Uh, and there were other decks that did well as cool, and we're going to play a lot of those today. The first one being a Vampire deck. Why are the Ixalan tribes all of a sudden good? Vampire deck, this was played by uh, Joe So to a 7-3 and three record and in the, in the constructed portion, which is awesome. And it's just a vampire deck. I believe my teammate Ross Merriam lost to this deck also. So what is this vampire deck? Because it's vampires are not, you know, a thing in standard per se. So let's take a look at it. We got Dustborn, Sky Marcher. Well, first of all, let's look at the cards we're used to, right? There are some cards here from the Mono White deck. You know, Sky Marcher, Aspirant, uh, Vampire, Legion's Landing. Makes a vampire. Uh, venerated Loxodon, not a vampire, but friend of all small creatures. And then uh, Conclave Tribunal, obviously a good card. So we're used to a lot of these cards, you know, cast down, unbreakable formation. But let's look at the cards we're not used to. Dustborn Sky Marcher, basically a Suntail Hawk vampire that can pump up vampires occasionally. Kind of a limited card, but, you know, a 1 1 flyer for 1 on tribal theme is fine. Uh, Vicious Conquistador, a card sometimes seen in. Uh, Rakdos Spectacle deck is a way to aggro out some people, make them lose some life. Of course, Dusk Legion Zealot, darling of my uh, Rakdos mid-range deck I played at the SCG Invitational last uh, last December. So just bad Elvish Visionary, essentially. Um, Legion Lieutenant, of course, the basic vampire lord. Mavern Fane, fun story here. So when the set first came out, uh, my good friend Frank Scarum was convinced that this card was a serious sleeper. And he bought like 50 of them at like 49 cents each. And I'm sure he still has them in a box somewhere. So maybe this deck will do it. Hopefully this video will make the price go up somehow. I don't know how it would do that. I'm not like Saffron Olive or something. But um, yeah, pretty funny. So Frank, LOL. Um, <laughs> I like that jar command, that's funny. All right, so um, so Maverick Fane's pretty cool card. It's 2-2, two -two. whenever you attack with a vampire, get a token. Non-token, but non-token vampire attacks, get a vampire token. Pretty cool card. 2-2 two, two for 3 is a little light. I think if this card was a little bigger, like a 2-3 maybe, or a 3-3, three, three, you would have seen more play. But, and then we come to Judith. Not actually a vampire. Only red card in the deck. Um, obviously quite good in a creature deck as far as pumping your team. When things die, you get to ping things. This card has been fringe playable so far. Um, but not a vampire, and kind of hard to cast. We only have, effectively, 10 red sources, and we usually want to name Vampire with Unclaimed Territory. So this is pretty weird to me. My initial instinct is to add some more, you know, add, make play like a Dragon Skull Summit, maybe, and like a Clifftop Retreat or something. Um, or maybe make this a Blood Crypt. I'm not sure, but kind of weird. A little hard to cast. We're the only red card in the entire deck. There are no shamans. I mean, there are no shamans and there are almost no humans. I think it is no humans. Yeah, no humans and no shamans. So it's not like the we can name a different type for like a, you know, a half and half. But this is the deck that went 7-3 of the Pro Tour, so we're going to play it as is. Cyborg's got the usual suspects. Duress, Cast Down, Mortify, Ixlon's Binding, Lyra Dawnbringer, Champion of Dusk. Kind of a cool card. Comes to the, enters the battlefield. You draw X cards and lose X life, where X is the number of vampires you control. Seems good against the control decks, things like that. 
and an extra swamp for your extra mana for uh, your black card. So, deck seems really cool, and uh, let's play it. We're going to play five matches of Ranked Ladder. We're currently in Mythic, which is cool. I think we're Mythic 99. Yeah, Mythic 99 currently. Other decks to play on this stream, we got Mardu Hero, Bant Tokens, Seth Manfield's Demir deck. We have more decks to play as well, so... Mana seems bad. I kind of agree. But again, this person went 7-3 at the Pro Tour. I did not. So, Mythic Championship. Dollar in the jar. Also, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of work on the stream over the next two weeks. And I want to just make some improvements. And Lord Draken, if you can help me out. Lord Draken, can you make a command, please, with the link I put on Twitter to the feedback thing, I made an anonymous feedback form, where you can give me any feedback you want anonymously, and I want you guys to rip me up. Be mean. Don't be shy about being mean. Um, I want your honest feedback, things you like about the stream, things you don't like, and be as honest and forthcoming and detailed as you can possibly be. And Lord Draken will put that link for you in chat, or Eddie if you can do it. It's just from my tweet. And make, it, make a command for it too, please. So pretty reasonable hand here. One drop, two lords, two one drops. Seems fun. Constructive criticism is ideal, but don't be afraid to uh Don't be afraid to go nuts. Nope, you can be you play best of three or best of one. You make the choice by playing standard or traditional standard. Adam, that's that's great. Lord Draken, um, a command for the feedback, the anonymous feedback link I have on my Twitter. If we can make a command just saying, like, you know, looking for feedback, please be super honest and be super straightforward. Don't be shy about being mean, basically. Give me your honest, constructive feedback. So. Carmanova, yes, you get a cookie. There you go. What's going on, opponent? <laughs> you got to play Magic here, or is... So just make a nice little command with the, explaining how you should be super mean and stuff. Well, I don't know where our opponent is, but they are on the rope. Oh, there we go. All right, so we're going to name Vampire Player one drop. Rather play can increase the door over landing as landing is better later on. I'm a vampire. I'm a vampire. I'm a vampire. I'm a vampire. What's up, B? Bonjour. Ça va? I mean, we're doing stuff here. Yeah. Cool graphics. There's an opt. I'm a vampire! I've never seen that movie, but I've seen the video of uh, Nicolas Cage running down the street going, I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! So, it makes me happy. Probably playing LSV's Phoenix deck. It's very shocking. Lieutenant. I'm a vampire. Discovery. This is very good for us. They're spinning their wheels. We're playing vampires. They don't find a shock. We're gonna flip this Legion's landing. We're in great shape. It's on. I'm a vampire. Not the bees. So I, they're not playing Master Bubble in their main deck. So we're pretty fine. Just casting. Can't cast this cast down right yet, but I think we're in good shape here. So just, you know, gotta throw that out there. It's, vampire count is five to zero. So we have five vampires. They have zero vampires. Alright, so um, they're playing, uh, we assume, is it Phoenix? Could be Drake's, but probably is it Phoenix? 
Um, how many black sources do we have? We have four, eight, nine. All right, we have a lot of, we have enough. Um, I think the formation can go. I think Maverin seems pretty bad here too. Just pretty soft to a shock. Um, I don't mind shaming Judith either. I don't, I don't think Judith is that great in this deck. Like they don't have any a lot of small things, so I, I don't mind shaming like two Judith. It's also really bad against shock. Um, I like the idea of cast down for sure. I don't think we need formation either. And then, do we want like Duress or or Lyra Dawnbringer? Lyra seems kind of good. Uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We have 21 lands in our deck. Lyra's a little tight. Lyra's a little tight. But Lyra's pretty good. It's hard for the, hard for the Izzet decks to actually kill. Um, they also might be bringing in, like, Fiery Cannonade. Um, it's kind of tough for us, honestly. Well, I guess a, a Loxodon can pull some of our X2s out of range of it. Yeah, let's cut, like... I don't even think Judith is good at all. Let me shave a Tribunal. I don't even know. Let's add two Lyras. Let's go to one Judith. Bring in the Swamp. Oh, the Swamp was hidden. I didn't even notice it. Because the way that Arena's, like, got a bug with, like, the basic lands in the sideboard. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. I'm a vampire! You folks are tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim, welcome. We are playing, uh, we are playing Joe So's Vampire deck from Mythic Championship. Yesterday, uh, Joe went 7-3 and in Constructed. So, this is the 7-3 and three Vampire deck. Excellent, the link is in chat. So please... Give me your honest, constructive feedback. I'll also put the link in the YouTube video if you're watching on YouTube. Um, I want your feedback. Don't be shy. Be mean. Please. Looking to improve the stream. You know, with all these MPL members starting to stream now, uh, it's important that I improve the stream, keep up with the times. So I need your help to do that. So please, make fun of me and tell me all the things you hate about me so I can fix them. All right. Um, we got to cast down this thing. Don't want to let them get going here. If I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer. So I, I have the fire. Yeah, I tried that deck with Assassin's Trophy, the Green Black Dark Seasons deck. It just isn't very good, unfortunately. Venerated Loxodon. All right. I mean, this is fine. We get to, we get to at least get a Vampire token. Set up for a big turn next turn. They're going to get to use their Electromancer effectively, but... My hair is not nice like Reed Duke's hair. You can't all be... You can't all be Reed Duke, right? You gotta be mean. Jeez. Chart of course. Pretty good, yeah. This card's really, really good. Alright, um, if I play oh, a Lord, crap, then I can play Venerated Loxodon. Yeah, we're sure I prank the Venerated Loxodon here. Get these things out of two toughness range as soon as possible. Put a lot of power in play. Shock? Sure. So, we get a Lord attack next turn. Lot of removal, but I think we're still okay. Let's become an idea. Thank you, remove from game. Thank you for liking my hair. I appreciate that. The world is a vampire. Da -da 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 -da. To drain and destroyer. Man, so many good options for what uh, the thumbnail should be for this video. You have the Nicolas Cage, I'm a vampire! You have Bolt with Butterfly Wings. Uh, 
How do you have so much removal on your deck? You need to take it easy. Chill out. I'm trying to play some vampires here. I'm a vampire. I'm a vampire. Alright. That's bad. Alright, well, how about a removal spell? Or a Lyra? That's an unclaimed territory. That does not help us. Uh, Alright. Um, this game hasn't gone too great. They've just killed all our stuff. <laughs> like... Uh, we don't really have a lot of, like, card advantage in our deck, so... We're, like, probably just dead. The, the Electromancer has been pretty, the, you know, pretty pretty tough for us. They've been able to draw extra cards of Charter Course and use their mana effectively and so on and so forth. How rude. What are this deck's good matchups? I have no idea. This is our first match of the deck. Um, this deck went 7-3 at the Pro Tour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... So, where is the the swamp? There was a swamp on the sideboard, right? So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, I just don't know how to, how to look at the swamp. I don't know how to find it. It's here. I reset the filters. But we can't find it. So... I did not board it in, no. So, yeah, it's a bug. But, um, alright. I think two layers is fine. Uh, Champion of Dusk is a little much. I don't think we want Duress. I really said Threat Density, I think. There's no one important card we're going to take from them, you know? And they're playing, it's not like they're playing Dive Downs and we need to, like, duress their dive down so we can kill their creature. Um, we need to use the default art for the land of a sideboard. That's weird. Um, I think we're just standing pat. I think Mortify's... Nah, Tribunal's better than Mortify. Yeah, I guess this is fine. I don't think we want that many removal spells. Like they only they're they're, they're playing phoenixes. So like we only need to kill the goblins and the the drakes really. We can't really kill phoenix that well. All right, this is good. I mean, if they have a a fiery cannonade, we're boned. But what are we gonna do? They're playing goblin electromancer still after game one. Having electromancer and cannonade seems kind of sketchy. They have it. They have it. What are we gonna do? We're playing suntail hawk in our deck for God's sakes, you know. Secret Destroyer! Go Despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a crypt. Loot Crypt and Dust Legion Zealot. Well. We landing to get out the Lifelinker, I guess? It makes it harder to attack though if they had, if they play a two two yeah. Try this deck last night. It's fun. Sweet. What's up, train plays gameplay? Welcome back. Four month three sub. You awesome. Is there a place to see the uh, mythic championship decklist? Yes, MTG Goldfish. It's a good place to start. They play one black land in their in their deck, so they can occasionally play the backside of um of uh. The split card. Dispersal, whatever. Alright, I mean, they probably have a removal spell here, but we're gonna, we're gonna go for our landing. Discovery. Dispersal. That's the one. Deckmaster is open. Is Deckmaster not working? Because it is open. All right, move to combat. We got a flip skis here. Probably not. Uh, 
Our Suntail Hawks are not looking pretty good here. We need to draw like a venerated Loxanon or something. I like that sound. Alright, well, like I said, if they have a fiery cannonade, we are probably dead. But Venerated Loxodon, Venerated Loxodon. No fiery cannonade, no fiery cannonade. Ooh. Well. Uh we are cast downing this. It is not the most efficient play as far as playing threats and stuff like that, but this needs to die. They're short on mana, and let's, let's constrain that mana further. Lord Draken, 26 months, you the bomb. Alright, yes, it's fine. Charge! Go, tiny creatures! Lava Coil, a Duskborn Sky Marcher. Alright, so I think we we Maverin and then attack with both of these and then use the ability on our Duskborn Sky Marcher if they block. If they don't block, we just cast this Sky Marcher Aspirant. This thing has an ability. Target attacking vampire gets plus one plus one. Um, maybe we actually just pump, in case they do have a fiery cannonade or something. If they had cannonade, they would have cast it last turn. So, like, hmm. Or we could just cast Sky Marcher as a flyer. Yeah, just, just go for it. Worst case, they had cannonade, we have Zealot and Adanto to rebuild. So, try to cool there's words on them cards. I mean, their hand isn't really that loose. They had Shock, Lava Coil, Electromancer. They just kind of like missed a land drop. Just kept, kept two lander, you know? Excellent. Ten I'm a vampire! What's up, Saint? Thanks for following. If you haven't followed, stream with that follow button. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alright. I mean... They seem pretty dead. Attack with everything but the Sky Marcher. Let's see. Well, do we do this? Let's say, they, let's say they have a shock. They block here, block here, shock this, take three. It's not even. Yeah, let's leave, we'll leave back Sky Marcher for the ability. What's up, Shady? So do we maybe save our Maverin rather than uh, pump the token? They got four. Maybe just hold this and we just use a Dondo at the end of turn. In case they do find a sweeper, we can start to rebuild this. What's up, Jay? Shock that thingy. We were already in pretty good shape here as far as going wide, so. The extra few tokens we get are pretty awesome. Niv miss it. That was clunking up their hand a little bit. I'm a vampire! Alright, 1 0 with vampires. I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! A booster pack! Who wants to open a booster pack? Raise your hand in chat. Raise your hand in chat. And while waiting for that, check out CoolStuffInc.com, CoolStuffInc.com, your number one source for all your online shopping needs, for all your gaming needs. That's right. Magic cards, board games, card games, supplies, miniatures, you name it. CoolStuffInc.com. Check it out. Um, use promo code JIM5 for 5% off your next order. They've been around forever. Forever. Best service around. Check it out. CoolStuffInc.com. Also, my video goes up today. My video is all about 
the Merfolk deck that went 8 and 2 at the Pro Tour. Yay, gems. Check that out also. My video goes up uh, in about an hour. You'll watch that after the stream, of course. So apparently if we change our swamps to the default swamps, someone is saying. We'll find it in the sideboard. Swamp. Alright, let's try that. See if that works. Back of the ladder. And also, like I said, I'm looking for feedback. So, working on improving the stream, doing a lot of work, working on a website. A lot of stuff going on. I'll be working on it over the next two weeks. And I want your feedback. Don't be shy. Be mean. This is your chance to yell at me and tell me that I'm stupid and you hate everything that I do. And just go out and be mean to me. Channel all of your YouTube comment vitriol into uh, the anonymous feedback form. God, if his hand draws a land, it's pretty cool. Which I've been already locks and one drops and stuff, but we're going to mulligan. It's also unclaimed territory. We can't even cast half the stuff in our hands, so we're going to mulligan. This is certainly a hand of magic cards. Uh, we're going to keep. Sure. Sky Marcher or Conquistador? Fresh meat. Probably Conquistador. What I recommend for a smooth climb to Diamond in Best of One? I haven't played Best of One in a while, so I'm not sure. A Gutter Ball? Wow. Hmm. You might find a skill like Zelda here. Fanatical Firebrand. Killed my 1-1. One, one. Damn, that's aggressive. No attack? Wow. No attack is conservative. Um, I'm not going to attack into their gutter bones. I'm just going to play some stuff and set up a formation next turn. Conquistador. I'm not sure how I feel about this card. We're already playing some fragile three drops. This is just like another fragile three drop. Oh, this works out. Hell yeah, it's a one two. Um. So like, I kind of want to keep playing stuff and make them bigger, but it's really mana inefficient. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Mom. Well, I guess this is like a trade. It's like not even that good, but oh, it's the end of my constructible. Duh. Right. We're in pretty good shape here. Two threes are a lot better than one twos. Judith. Yeah, Judith, we get it. I really am just kind of flabbergasted by the inclusion of Judith in this deck. Like, it's the only red card. It just seems pretty hard to cast. And it's good, but like, I don't know. I'm a little I'm a little off this one. I'm not really sure. Um now if I attack, we're just trading. No, Judith is great, but if you can't cast it, it doesn't really matter, you know? Um, they're at seven. If I swing with everything, basically all of my stuff dies. And then I play a Duskborn Sky Marcher. I mean, they block with Gutter Bones, they block with War Boss, they can kill this. Eh, I'm just gonna attack. They go to five, they can figure it out. Sure. Not ideal, but yeah, Judith got it. Yeah, Midnight Reaper is very good. Midnight Reaper is not a vampire, though, right? It's a zombie. Midnight Reaper is great. Another war boss. 
Four boss is pretty good. Red source, red source, red source. Tilt. Yeah, I mean, War Boss kills really fast. Um, can't really block though, so. They have four cards in hand still. Spawn of Mayhem? Uh, bad for us. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. That's basically lethal. Yeah, we're like kind of dead. Ah, I mean, these Judiths are killing me. If they were, if these were castable spells, we probably would have won this game easily. I mean, they are at four life, you know. All right. Judith. Alright, so... Hey, a Swamp's here. We did it. We're gonna bring in... What kind of actual removal does Red Black have? Like, how, how easily can they kill a Lyra? Probably not that easily, honestly. Maybe we wanna, like, go a little bigger. Like, we'll cut the... I'm just, I'm just cutting these, honestly. Cut those, cut the formation. And bring in a land... Couple cast downs, a mortify, and the Lyras. And then cut like. Cut something that's like a little soft, squishy, and, like two Sky Marchers maybe. Why is this deck not playing a Danto Vanguard? This is Joe Show's Joe So's deck from the Pro from the uh, Mythic Championship, not Pro Tour, Dollar in the Jar. Um, I had not changed it in any way. Uh, and then Joe went seven and three with the second constructed, so. Maybe we shave like does the Sky Marcher seem kind of bad against the like Judith and stuff? This card's kind of cool too, but. Let's try this, I guess. Ixalan's Binding is a little tempting too, but... That's a hand. Conquistador. Yes, it is very, very windy up. I'm happy about Marwin so far. What's Marwin? I mean, Maverin, like the, the the vampire thingy. It's been fun. Take it. Nothing. Well, I think it's locks it on time. Make him deal with this. Slam Lyra in two turns. Moment of craving. <laughs> Legion War Boss. I like War Boss a lot. It's my kind of card. Alright, well, we are a little light on resources here, but we are we are attacking. We have Mortify, we have Lyra. I hope for no answer to Lyra. I'm gonna kill this thing pre-combat, probably. Ugh. Of course, Lyra is quite good against uh, Legion War Boss. So, slam jam. Probably block Footlight Fiend on the Sky Marcher. Wow. Just 
taking it. That's that's impressive. Hello, nice shield. Vampire is too strong. Um, maybe we're interested in this binding. Can't move a binding. Yeah, let's cut like another Dustborn Sky Marcher, which seems pretty bad on the draw. I wonder what this card. This card seems cool, but it's kind of expensive. Welcome aboard. I feel like we don't want this card and Lyra at the same time. If we take out like two Dustborn and we'll bring in the binding and we'll leave one Judith in. Let's take out all the crappy little Sundale locks. They just have like Footlight Fiends, they have Judith, they have blockers, like I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! <laughs> this is my kind of hand. <laughs> Just <laughs> value little two drops and venerate it. I, I love all these cards. I'm keeping this hand. This should, maybe this should, this should have been a sample hand of the week. Yeah, I should, I should actually take a picture of that hand. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Footlight gutter bones. Mm. Uh oh. Put them in a hat. I uh. A thought seize thing. Fungal infection. You fungally infected me. Oh God! Look at this hand. Where did this come from? They're just like drawing the nuts. Um, I think we're in big trouble. I think we're just dead. They have literally anything. We're dead. They were dead anyway, right? Two, four, six, seven. I mean, basically dead. Jesus. Yeah, fungal and into Judith is pretty insane. That, what turn one gutter ball, turn two footlight fungal, turn three Judith. <whistles> You're in trouble. Third venerated Loxodon. Yeah, we're dead. Obviously, we cut some of our one drops so our Loxodons get worth worse. Maybe we should have shaved one of them, but yeah, I mean, I don't know what else we could do here. Take a million. Can't cast Lyra yet. Yeah. Uh, no cry of the Carnarium here. All right, you got us. We're dead. Whew. That was a good one. That was a good one. Money! Let's try that one again. Morning, 2000. How's it going, my friends? If you're tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome. Marco, Shadow! Ugh. Understand. Judith just feels so weird in this deck. I, don't know. I guess we're gonna keep like. Well, there's our red source. You can cast it at least. That part's good. Ooped. Ooped. Duskborn Sky Marcher. All right, we're just gonna play with Dust Legion Zealot here, I think. They want to counter us; they're more than welcome to. I agree. Not playing a Danto Vanguard does seem kind of weird. Um, like I wonder if this deck just you just played four Danto Vanguard instead of four Judith and just didn't play red, how much better this deck would be. Trickster. Obsession. Turns 
a lot of crappy one ones. Um, hmm. Feel like Vanquisher's Banner. It seems very very expensive. It's like the five mana artifact, right? Let me just cast all our ones. And then I'm not going to attack and do a possible trickster. Radiant Destiny. Of course, kind of cool. Now we can try and resolve our Legion's Lieutenants next turn and flip our landing and just try and race this Trickster, I guess. I'm not blocking it, so... Sure. Yeah, we're not really interested in interacting with the creatures. We want to just build a big board here. Probably counter this. Look out it's dispersal. Ew. That was a one of in Steve Rubin's version of the deck. Now we're at nine. And I get to attack with everything. Should maybe lead back a flyer. Attack it like this. Flip Legion's Landing. I get to play, I get to play the Aspirant too. That's pretty great actually. Um, flip landing, play aspirant. So, don't want to leave a, a blocker back for the storm tamer. I don't think so. Let me just race. Morning blues clues. Maybe Judith next turn. One of the better ways to beat Mono Blue is just to like go wide and kill them. You know, if you their dive downs and siren storm tamers and stuff don't really matter if you're not like trying to kill their creatures. Spell pierces, etc. etc. Um So we could block here and they just, they just like dive down, it feels pretty bad. They could also have a trickster to make my lieutenant not pump this anymore. I kinda wanna just take this and play Judith and attack them next turn, just kill them over two turns. Worst case scenario, they play Tempest Jin, but they still can't block with Judith in play, and they can't counter Judith anymore, so... They have to go Tempest Jin and a land, and a counter spell for Judith. Sure. Yeah, this is great. Assuming that Judith resolves, which is not guaranteed, I suppose. But your safety is not guaranteed. Yeah, they got a counter this. Alright, that's bad. Um, they have three spells in the graveyards. Terramanders are getting close to being dangerous. We attack with all of these. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could also just leap back one of my sky marchers and attack with everything. Use the pump effect, they triple fly. This seems. Just do this. And now it's really hard to block Lieutenant or block anything profitably. They take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think they take 10 here. This feels pretty good. We're taking a lot in the backswing, but we're not going to die. Well, I guess we do die to Terramander, right? Uh, yeah, so we can lead back. We can just not use Sky Marcher. Chump block with it. They block ter they Terramander. Yeah, I like this. Alright, so if I pump, I die to pumped up Terramanders. They have one, two, three. They have, they have a land. 
Um, otherwise, eh, this is a bad attack. They're taking three, four, five, six, seven, but my attack force is going to be shrunk next turn because we're losing our lieutenant. Hmm. Wish I had one more life. All right, I think this is fine. Maybe this is a bad attack. Maybe I could have left this one back too. Yeah, that might have been better. Oh, they had to land. I'm drinking, I'm drinking, hydration bot. I mean, if they counter this, we're, we're probably dead. Um, but... I think that, yeah, I played the last turn really badly. I should not have, I should have just not attacked both of these. That's very stupid. Tech seems alright. Judith seems super off, but... Alright, I mean, bombs away. Ooh, resolved. And now... We attack with everything and just present lethal, I guess? Three, four, five, six, seven. And then the other one kills the other one? Yeah, I like that. Oh, they, they kind of dive down, I guess. Attack for seven. They have to block at least one. When that creature dies, it shoots the other one. They have, like, double dive down, we're dead, but that's fine, I guess. No, we're gonna, we're gonna move for lethal here, I think. My attack would just two if it'll just take the five. Actually, I guess we get pumped twice, but then, like, if they have anything, we just get in trouble. I don't know. Playing against this blue deck is just so hard. Alright. I mean. Pass priority. No dive pad. Alright. Uh, I this, this is all pretty cool. Sure. Big concern there was dive down, because if they had it, they were they, 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 they probably just sitting on it all game. Doesn't do much against us, and if they have if they have a dive down, they can save their creature. So I didn't want to like use my Sky Marcher, have them dive down and tap and just kill us. So that's pretty cool for us. Could just block and shoot them, deny the card draw, have two lethal creatures, but let's not do that. Two. Like the problem is if I block and ping them for one, any blocker just wins the game for them, so they're dead. You're dead! Vampires! I'm a vampire! See I think I played badly in that one turn, but luckily we didn't get punished for it. Alright, what do we want against this mono blue deck? We definitely want these duresses. Alright, we don't want formation. Don't think we want tribunal. Um, I don't think we want many Judith, honestly. I mean, we definitely want these duresses. I actually want a lot of things. I want duress. I want cast down. I want Lyra. Um, I'm okay with mortify. But like, I think we, I think that maybe bringing in the the cast downs is actually just the wrong plan. Maybe I just want to be really aggressive because I don't think that trying to kill their stuff, like, kill their, trying to kill their stuff plays into their plan, but the thing is, I, don't, I shouldn't bring in Lyra unless I'm, unless I'm actually killing their things, I don't think, um, maybe, maybe we don't want duress against them, usually most decks want duress against them, but I think we need to be aggressive in the early turns, maybe we should bring in cast down of Alira's. 
Because by pressuring them, we're going to put them in spots where they can't leave up all their counterspell garbage all the time. Why didn't this go in? Oh, we only have one cast down main deck? Okay. Uh... Let's take out one Lyra. I think two Lyra is good. MX, thanks for following, my friend. Appreciate it. Um, the problem is that the more duresses go in, the, the less creatures there are. And we need to be aggressive against them. We can't just, like, sit here, you know? Like, a part of our... I'm not sure. Honestly. Like... Our plan against them is just to go wide and kill them, not and not really interact that much. And duress just wastes too much time interacting. I'm not even sure how good cast down is, honestly, in that regard. It's obviously good, but I'm not sure. Then I'm not sure how good Lyra is. I'm not really sure, honestly. All right, I mean, this can't keep this in, unfortunately. It's close, but if I knew we were drawing a land, I would keep. I mean, resolving Lyra, you should, we should be casting Lyra at the point in the game we've already, like, exhausted a lot of their resources. Opponent mulligans. That's better. Opponent mulligans to five. Wise man say, forgiveness is divine. We're also not guaranteed to have black mana on turn one. We only have so many, so many mana sources in our deck. So, like, the rest doesn't even seem good. Pteramander. The old Petermander. Alright. Petermander gets in for one. I mean, we can cast all our spells, so this is all reasonable. Excellent. Ten points to Thanks for following, Pretty good, pretty good here for us. We're either playing Judith or playing Loxodon. Aspirant's, Aspirant is not always easy to turn on. It's annoying. But the fail, the fail state of being a Savannah Lion is pretty good, you know? Alright. Um, probably resolve Judith here. Then we get to attack and they can't block. It's two for one. Uh, William Bam. Salamander. So we draw a land, we get to Lieutenant and Loxodon. Uh, Alright, well, cast down is on the menu. Fresh meat. They're highlighting my aspirant. Perhaps they have a entrancing melody and a trickster. Upkeep trickster. Interesting. Well, they only have one card left. We're definitely we're definitely making a move on this Terramander with our cast down for sure. So, second like Judith. Yeah, I mean we're just casting the cast down. What do they keep doing? They keep pausing. Um, we're gonna attack first. Is if they block, we just kill Sky Marcher. So. Uh, Ross did well at the Mythic Championship. Ross, um, Ross lost his last round playing for a possible top 16. He actually lost to Pete Ingram. I had a friend. I, I had a lot of friends who did well in this tournament. Uh, Pete Ingram, Ross. Oh, I'm so stupid. I wasn't even paying attention. 
whatever. Um, yeah, Andrew, Jessup, Pete Ingram, Ross Merriam, Calcano, all did, all did well. Ben Friedman is pretty cool. All right, yeah, we're going to kill this. That was obviously stupid. I shouldn't have attacked. But we're still ahead on cards. We should be, should be in fine shape. All right, don't have a dive down. Cool. Yeah, no abilities. No abilities. Peter. All right, only two spells in the graveyard. Let's land. Um... And they have opt, yeah. So, I mean, just playing Loxodon feels kind of loose. But it does block Sky Marcher also. If I go Legion Lieutenant, like, attack for two, they attack back, I can't block. Then I'm, like, convoking the next turn and not blocking or attacking again. So. That's kind of cool. So if you Legend Rule Judith, it counts itself. That's kind of sweet, actually. Alright, I'll do that. So I vote. if this works as, I, as it seems like it works... Why was that on my side? That is very cool. Hmm. That was not interaction that I had considered when I looked at the deck list. You play a second Judith, you get a Fork Bolt. That's dope. And now I get to five... Yeah, I get to play... Two, three, four, yep. You get to play everything! to counter this if they would like to. Look out, it's dispersal. Kind of pay four, sure. Mm. Works, works, works. Dusk Legion Zealot. I mean, the two cards, they aren't creatures. They're probably counter spells or some sort of interactive card. They counter this, I don't really care. This resolves. I mean, I just don't even lock it. I almost see what I draw. Sure. That's fine. Hmm. When they're using their counters, counter spells defensively, it's very, very good for us. When they get response resurgence instead of cast down, I don't know what response resurgence is. Alright, we're going to slam this. Um, hopefully, it resolves. Their last card's a counterspell. It's kind of bad for us. I think it was Essence Capture, but I don't think we can, like, not play our spells. Mm. Judith making this a 5-4 is pretty awesome, obviously, with Surge, Mare, and Blay, so... Response? Uh, that's a 5 damage attacker blocker. Eh. Card's pretty medium. Okay. Tempus Jin. Yeah, you're doing some spells here, you know? All right. All right. I mean, how did you get here? Right. So they have a land. They win the race. I guess not, because uh, they're four. We have another attacker. Yeah, they, they still win the race. All right, they don't have the land. That's good. So. We're playing a 4-4, four, four, folks. All right. Um, Now we just slam. Although, I guess, the, yeah, we can't I, we can't die to Surge Mare. All right, so we attack with just the the venerated locks it on. So they have to sort of, sort of trick. Yeah, this is fine. Trickster. 
So now we might be dead. Um, this can't attack. We're just playing a 4-4. Can't convoke because we just die. So... Should have the territory or whatever. Is their last card also a counterspell? The old 5 mana 4-4. Four four. Wish it was a Lyra. This is mad aggressive. Why would they do this? Hmm, am I missing something? Like, they can pump this twice. My locks don't all die, but that's fine. Space jams? I don't know. All right, works for me. That was match number three or two and one, right? We might have just space jammed, you know. Two and one vampires. We're sitting in. Welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. Welcome. We are playing jo Joe So's vampire deck from Mythic Championship uh, yesterday. Uh, Joe went seven and three in the constructed portion. And uh, we're just playing the deck list card for card. We're trying out all of the different exciting decks from uh, the Mythic Championship today. And speaking of exciting decks, hop on over to CoolStuffInc.com and check... Oh, oh it's gone. CoolStuffInc.com. Check out my... Uh, oh, nope, it's not up yet. It's up in 20 minutes. Sorry. Never mind. If I'm not back in five minutes, I lied. Just wait longer. Sand's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Marty Vampires. We're the only red card is Judith, which is not a vampire, but deck's been pretty cool so far. Cause I could just, eh, we will we'll do a land. Anyway. I could just uh, play the territory. But... Hold Fountain. Yeah, they're just playing S. This this seems like a hard game one for us. Um, they're playing Esper Control. Yeah, this is this is gonna be really hard. Um, <laughs> the all removal spell and Wrath of God deck against our our Lord's deck. I am Lord. Yeah, Judith is certainly a friend of the vampires, but auto erasure. Yeah, well, I think to win this game we need to draw no more lands ever. Cast down is not what we're looking for, but slam jam, I guess. All right, uh, it's not what I asked for, but slam jam. Hopefully, their hand is absorb, 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 absorb. This is a Condemned. Uh, I'm gonna get a cast down Mount. Oh, it's a legend, I can't cast down it. No! Tilt. I would love to cast down my own creature here. That sucks. They would take three, essentially. God. All right, well. 
I'm not going to say we're in big trouble. So I'll just say nothing. I should play with whatever. It's pretty clear we don't have anything, so. I got just a ticket. Go. Your turn. Why are they manually tap manually tapping all her stuff? Use the auto tapper. Jeez. You crazy. My predictions were not very good, actually, Ace. I was wrong on most of my predictions. No. Not my Sun Thalhawk. Alright, big draw here. Yep, that's a big draw. Uh, we're gonna pack this one. Yeah, just pack this one up. Not waste our time here. We need to draw some threats. Alright, so. We are going to cut all of our garbage and bring in some good cards. We're gonna bring in our three Champion of Dusks, our four Duresses, and. Cast down Unbreakable's gone. I think cut like some Sky Marchers. Let's cut all the Sky Marchers, honestly. It's just too weak. Um, Judith, I'll shave a Judith. And then I kind of want to keep these tribunals in, in for like Lyra, Hostage Taker, Thief of Sanity, whatever garbage that is. Um, maybe a Mortify is better than Tribunal. Yeah. Let's cut like. That's a lot of duresses. Let's cut another Judith. Let's try this. Unbreakable can, can like counter oh, a wrath, sort of, but like it's super clunky and just like not gonna work out like that a lot of the time. Uh, Midnight Reaper would be really, really good. I think Midnight Reaper might just be good in this deck anyway. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll rebuild this deck at the end with what I think the deck maybe should be. Well, Loxodon's on a 5-drop, and a game like this is going to go really long anyway, so I don't mind having a few 5-drops. You know, these are like, you know, not 5, not not 4 and 5-drops. Oh, I think I'm fine with this. Cutting Loxodon versus Control. We have 4 Duress to push through so they can't Wrath us. They only have 4 Wraths, you know. And Loxodon's good against uh, Cry of the Carnarium, too, so... Um, I mean, it's awkward, but we're going to keep it. And I think we're going to just, uh, Conquistador on one. We'll Conquistador tap line on two. We can duress on three. I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! Messenger, yes. Modern is a lot to take in, if you're a newer player. Um, a lot to take in. Alright, so this this must be fungal infection. Like what else could this be besides fungal infection? I think I just don't attack. Is that crazy? Like the only card it can be is fungal infection. Nothing else makes sense. I think I just play a conquistador and play a tap line and say go. Is that crazy? Am I crazy? I think I'm crazy. House, I'm not really sure. I mean, if they misclick, they got two damage. I mean, the bluff cost them two life anyway, so I, I, it's not really a good bluff. <laughs> like, I, if they don't, if they don't do that, they just take two anyway. So they either take four or just take the two they would have taken anyway. So, all right, what's um, let's duress here and see what's up. Let's start there. Tribunal's a little aggressive. 
Uh, yeah, they just didn't have anything. All right, I guess I just misclicked. That's pretty funny. All right, they have a second search, a mortify, cast down, absorb, moment of craving. So we'll take the moment of craving. Just attack. Hopefully they're missing some lands. It's a pretty, pretty clunky hand. Uh, I think I prefer... I guess Conquistador is better. There's a matter, just a random one drop. No land. They bin a Thought Erasure, and they draw a land, obviously. All right, now we're in trouble. Now they have Mortify. They can't cast Absorb. They have Mortify, cast down. I mean, it's kind of shitty, but... Perhaps today is a good day to die. Thanks for following, everyone. Why no Dante Vanguard? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. You gotta ask, uh, ask Jeff. What about Bunch of bots. Uh, we're just gonna slam everything here. Kill post-combat lieutenant. Aspirant, this basically makes them cast down this. They take six. We have them dead in two turns. They topped a card. That's probably not good for us. Hmm. Hmm. About that. Ugh. Well, folks. Dusk Legion Zealot has a lot to do. Attack for one skis. Can't even kill the search for Azkanda because they just have another one. I guess I could just kill it like on their upkeep. You don't do that. We have Tribunal anyway, so... I don't want them to... You know, they probably wouldn't, they probably wouldn't absorb it. I'm just gonna give them a free scribe, and they have to tap mana for this. Yeah, it's fine. Well, this game was going well. Um, Cry of the Carnarium seems decent against us. Cast down my 1-1. One, one. Maybe we just like Sky Marcher and Conclave the Ascant. I mean, they have, they have they have seven in the bin already. Yeah, we have to do that. Just hope, just hope they don't draw land. It's their only out here. Just hope they miss on land for like a few turns. And we just kill them somehow. <laughs> no. All right, big draw. Oh god, there are five. Huge draw. No time for a break if you show an elephant sized draw. Take that. Now what? Keep up the pace. That's bad. Loxodon isn't a five drop. Jim Davis, 2019, about 11 minutes ago. Uh, all right. Well, we're going for you. <laughs> all right. 
And they could just tuck it, obviously, so they keep choosing not to. I wasn't going to cast a spell into their absorb, so they bend the catacomb. Yeah, should probably be tucking, I agree. They have absorb in hand, it's a fairy and blight, you probably just tuck my only card. Yes, the eye, the eye icon is awesome. Yes, Eddie put the uh, feedback link in chat. Reminder to everyone, I'm doing a lot of work on the stream over the next two weeks. Um, all these new MPL streamers. I gotta up my game. Gotta up my game. So, I need your help. So, the feedback form is in chat right now. If you're watching on YouTube, it'll be in the description of the, of the video. Um, I'm looking for your honest and very critical feedback. Please be mean. Tell me anything you don't like about the stream. And please be uh, please be in depth if you can. That would be great. I appreciate your help. Link is in chat. Check it out. And it's anonymous, fully anonymous. So you have absolute authority to be as mean as possible. You need to take time out. I don't want to play anymore. We'll go to our next match. We are two and two with the vampire deck. I'm a vampire. If you missed it, you're just sitting here. Welcome to the stream. This is the deck we're playing. This is uh, Joe So's deck from the from the Pro Tour Mythic Championship Dollar in the Jar, and Joe went seven and three with this deck. It's literally just vampires at Judith. The list is weird. Um, I'll discuss the list at the end, but let's keep going. You hate the lack of nerds rope. I have a nerds rope box right over there. Yeah, the cry was obviously brutal. We probably win that game if they don't draw a cry, but whatever. What are you going to do? Peach Cobbler! Yeah, I mean, we keep this. Hmm. This is probably bad for us. I'm a vampire. I'm going to play Dustborn with the intent of blocking. Will they do anything different for the third season? The season ends soon, that is true. Um, I may actually, uh, I think I'm going to grind out for the last few days. The season ends on Wednesday. Who knows when the season ends exactly? Um, I don't know. It's not totally clear exactly when it ends. It, it ends on Wednesday, it says, but I may uh, pull some, like, 12-hour stream sessions and try and grind it up a little bit. We are probably super dead here, we just have a grizzly bear and three lands. Yeah, I, I know it says three days, I mean exactly. Like, when does it exactly end? Yeah. This doesn't feel very good. They just, like, have a lot of removal and killed all my stuff. And now we're just, like, Pretty dead. That was really aggressive. Um, noon Pacific on Wednesday? Oh my god, they have so much stuff. Why are they so mean? Alright, so we try to like fade five draw steps here and draw some good cards and stuff. Nope. Well, that was a shellacking. That game wasn't close. The matchup already seems bad and it's drew three lands and all spells. And we drew all lands. So, this one doesn't look too good for us here. Um. All of these cards seem terrible. They just died of shocks. I'm just gonna cut all of these. Cut formation, bring in three Lyras. Probably bring in a Swamp, Cast Downs, Mortify. Um, I kinda like Duress. I don't like Dustborn Sky Marcher, because it's just bad against Chain Whirler, very low impact. I'm gonna bring in like two Duress, Binding. 
This thing makes... I guess this thing's actually okay if you can just get it off. Because getting a lifelinker is pretty great. You don't leave these in. This is two duress. Maybe you just don't want binding either. Um, this doesn't feel great, but... Yeah, I'm okay with this. A small handful of duresses, three liras, some lifelinkers and blockers. I'm just concerned we're not going to cast Judith at any point reasonable. And, like, the board doesn't matter that much. Like, they don't play many creatures, and their creatures don't matter that much. You know, they're kind of just, like, trying to get in for a few points and burn us out. So... This does not seem very good, but I'm going to keep it. Uh, Legion Lieutenant's kind of mopey. Bear. The bears, the clock. That's fine by me. Pretty happy trading a, a bear with a premium removal spell. Aspirin? Alright. This is actually turning out to be somewhat reasonable. They have like Wizard's Lightning and then they ping this thing kind of sucks, but... Hmm. They seem to have it all. Stinks. I'm just gonna cast the cast down. I mean, they're running a little lower on cards. So they, so they play a, a Council of Swords on me. Um, they have a Steamkin now. All right, so we gotta play the Conquistador, and we'll just try and cast down a Steamkin, I guess. Trying to find a silver lining here, but like doesn't seem to be one. That was kind of aggressive. It could have just like saved it for a counter on the Steamkin. Yeah, that was kind of a weird shock. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're pretty dead. <laughs> Hmm. Kind of wear the deck full of shocks would be good against us, you know? Okay. <laughs> you win. You win. You've killed the vampire dream. What do you want from me? Alright, so two and three of vampires. Um, let's look at the deck. Because, frankly, I don't think Judith is worth it. Sure, this is cool and all, but I think I would build this deck a little bit differently, personally. Uh, I love the Loxodons. Like, I love that we're borrowing some of the good elements from the, the White Weenie decks in Tribunal, Loxodon, and Landing. But I don't like Judith that much. I'm not big on Unbreakable Formation. Uh, I do like Cast Down. Like, having an actual kill spell in our deck is kind of cool. Um... I do think not playing a Danto Vanguard is kind of crazy. And I do think Midnight Reaper is also pretty good. Like, not a vampire, but just a really solid card. And does a similar thing to Judith, where it's good at, like, making your stuff a little more durable. Um, yeah. So, like, what I do with this deck? Let's see. Eh, I'm not going to play this deck again. I can just edit it. What would I do? I think I would cut the Judith's formation, cut all the red lands. This is, that would be 20 lands. God, let's try and 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 21, 22. Probably that for lands. 22 is probably enough. Um, and then, 
kind of like a Don. I don't even need all the Adonto Vanguards. Like, the thing is, Dust Legion Zealot's also like kind of interesting. Sanctum Seeker. That card's kind of expensive. I don't know. Like obviously, like what I like about this deck is that the the this is not like it doesn't look like a vampire deck that was made when the set first came out when Ixalan first came out. You know, like because those decks obviously didn't work. So it's like doing different things, but. Like, Adonto Vanguard is quite good. Um, I think it's a question of how good Dusk Legion Zealot is. It's a vampire. It's a vampire. Sanctum Seeker. Yeah, I mean, Sanctum Seeker is kind of cool. I don't know. I'm not sure. Blood Crazed Paladin. Like, playing a Danto Vanguard seems like... Maybe you play, like, four Danto Vanguard. Like, two Dust Legion Zealots. Venerated Loxodon looking T-H-I-C-C. Thanks for everything, Jim. Scrubs, you're the, you're the best. Uh, Dusk Roses, no, you don't... That's way too expensive. I don't even know if you want to play this card, honestly. Maybe you add, like... Add a cast down, maybe cut a tribunal, and then play like two Midnight Reaper. It's a lot more life loss, but maybe something like this to try out. Um, I'm not even sure if you want these zealots, but I do. I do like this card, the ability to just kind of like keep drawing cards. I like Reaper. I think Plague Crafter could be a really good sideboard card. Um, I need to trim down these two actually. I don't know. Something like this is probably what I would try. Uh, Judith is like, doesn't seem worth it. Um, but yeah, this deck's pretty cool. So overall, pretty fun. Pretty fun deck. Um, one that you should maybe try out. Could I mean, like, it went 7-3 at the Pro Tour, so I'm sure it's good enough for F&M or, uh, or playing on the ladder. So check it out. Um, again, that was that was, uh, that was Joe So's deck, 7-3 at the Pro Tour. Mythic Championship, put a dollar in the jar. And um, yeah, we're going to play some more decks, but this YouTube video is going to end. So next deck up is going to be, I think, uh, I don't know, we'll, 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 pick, we'll pick one. One of these decks right here. So YouTube folks, have a good one. Make sure you follow the channel.